what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as you can see we're back in the garage with another harley video for you guys um, today we're taking my 19 road glide over to my buddy dave's house he is my engine builder and he is the guy who built this 128 kit for me uh, shout out to wheaties performance if you guys live in michigan and you guys want a cam job done or you want a 128 kit put in or a big bore kit put in Whatever you guys want, make sure you guys hit me up on Instagram at Dework Motorsports and we can schedule you an appointment with him. He does great work. He's very meticulous. And as you guys know, my 128 in this bike has been flawless. But today's video is kind of special because we are tearing the 128 kit out of this bike and putting in something bigger, badder, and faster than ever. You guys are not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned to the video. It's 20 freaking degrees here in Michigan right now. It's starting to snow outside, so I have to tow the bike over there. I can't even ride my own bike 20 miles down the road because it's so freaking cold out and there's snow in the forecast. But uh, anyway, we're getting ready to load the bike up right now in my trailer, trailer it over to Dave's house, and we're going to start tearing this bike back down. So come along with me as we tear apart the 128, and once we get there, I'll show you guys what we got planned for the Rogue Glide, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is give you guys a cold start on the Rogue Glide. As you can see, it's already dark. It's freaking 5 o'clock here in Michigan, and it's already dark. I hate it here. But anyway, let's go ahead and start the road glide up and give you guys a cold start in the blistering 20 degree weather. Shout out to Gauge Mods for the best gauge modifications in the country. Jim over at Gauge Mods hooked these up two years ago. Still flawless, no issues whatsoever. Blue background, white needle. Hit them up if you guys want your gauges done. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys a cold start. This is probably the coldest start you've ever heard on YouTube. It's freaking cold out here. <laughs> Guys, so we just got the bike up on the lift over here at Dave's house. We're getting ready to tear it all down and uh, start on the new build. So stay tuned as uh, we take all the old parts off. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to see what the crank runout is on the 128. Three thousandths. About three thousandths. Well, that's, that's fine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's real good for a, for a Stark Harley crank that's been beat on. Damn! But yeah, we're getting everything all tore down right now. Got the stock heads over here, torn apart. And uh, yeah, now that I know the crank's good, 
we can finish tearing all this down and get all the new parts installed. I know a lot of you guys are going to be commenting saying, I can't believe you're going to be putting all this power to the stock crank, but I'm going to be the guinea pig and see if, uh, see if the stock crank holds it. And also we're going to try to make all this power on a stock belt too. So stay tuned guys. We'll see, uh, see how it holds up. All right guys, we got everything tore apart from the 128. The 128 is now out of here. As you can see, the jugs are off, the heads are off, the cams out. We put a new cam bearing in here. So uh, I wanted to put a fresh cam bearing in there. This cam bearing's been in there for, I don't know, ever since I did the stage two uh, with the 475C cam. So here's my SNS cam plate and oil pump that we put in back when it was just a stage two. I think that was like, what, two years ago now? Something like that. Um, here's the SNS 475C cam we took out. I'm actually selling that to a buddy of mine. Uh, he's gonna put that in his lowrider ST along with the 128 kit we took out of this bike. So basically we're uh, mimicking this motor in a lowrider ST and as you guys know this bike ripped with that motor in it so I, you can only imagine how fast that lowrider ST is going to be with it being a lot lighter than the Rogue Glide. So got all the parts laid out here. I'm getting ready to uh, go through all the new parts which are all sitting over here on this table. The 128 is out. It's done and we're getting ready to throw in the big and bad motor. Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be sweet. All right guys, so we're getting ready to reassemble the motor now. We got the camshaft in there, and we got the cam plate all put back together. We got the new cam chain tensioner from SNS, and then also check out over here, these are the new SNS piston squirters that they just started selling. We went ahead and installed those in there just to give a little bit more lubrication. Um, you know, obviously more lube, more oil is better, uh, especially in a high horsepower motor like this. You definitely want it to stay cool and stay lubed up. So we're going to try those out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, with the part number and all the info for those as well. But yeah, we're getting ready to uh, assemble the motor now and put the new cylinder studs in with the new bolts. buttoning up the heads right now and we're gonna let it sit overnight gonna torque them to spec let them sit overnight and then we'll come back out in the morning reassemble everything and uh, be ready to fire this thing up probably tomorrow so stay tuned guys it's going good all right guys so I went ahead and ordered up the gloss black lower rocker box covers instead of the chrome uh, just wanted to eliminate some of the chrome on the bike as you guys know I don't have much chrome on this bike the last chrome piece to the bike were these lower rocker box covers so I wanted to black that out and I know a lot of guys powder coat them but unfortunately my powder coater couldn't get them done in time because I'm on a time crunch right now because I have to get it to the tuner and get everything dialed in before Daytona. So I ended up having to buy those right from Harley. They look killer on there and they're gonna look even better once we get the upper rocker box covers on. But I also wanted to point out these gold cuffs here on the push rods. These are SNS gloss black push rod tubes. I figured I'd spice it up just a little bit and do something different. So I went with the gold cuffs here. I think that's gonna tie in good with uh, the next mod I have coming for the bike. So you guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. Stay tuned, there's more stuff coming to this bike. And uh, yeah, it has to do with gold stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right guys, so as you know, I ran the HPI 62 millimeter throttle body on my 128 kit. That's this guy over here. This is the HPI manifold with the HPI throttle body as you can see it's all billet really nice piece from hpi i was running this on my 128 kit but after talking to my tuner and the guy i got the motor from he said that the 62 millimeter is not going to be enough i need to go with the 64 millimeter or bigger so i really like the design of this billet manifold from v twin power sports it's all ported Really nice piece, V-Twin Power Sports is in Chicago. They make really nice billet stuff. So what we're gonna do is give this a try on my bike. We're gonna run the new 65 millimeter manifold with the 65 millimeter throttle body from V-Twin Power Sports. So I'm very curious to see how this does with my application. I think, uh, I think it's gonna be enough. I think it's gonna flow enough air to get us enough horsepower out of this motor, uh, but we'll see. 
I know the tried and true package is a 64 millimeter Screaming Eagle throttle body with a 64 millimeter ported intake manifold. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try the new 65 millimeter deal from V Twin Power Sports. So we're gonna get that mounted up here shortly, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the bike. Right, guys, so we just got the V Twin Power Sports 65 millimeter manifold on here, and look how sick it looks on here, guys. They did a great job on the porting. You can see right through to the heads. Very nice piece there. We got the upper rocker box covers on, so now it's all blacked out with the black lower rocker box covers. And then we got the gold push rod collars on there. I think it sets off the motor just right. Add a little spice to the motor, something a little different than what I've been running. Um, I definitely uh, like the way that turned out. But yeah, we're getting ready to bolt the throttle body on and then uh, we'll get everything else you know, plugged in, tank on, and we'll be able to put the pipe back on and start it up. We got the exhaust back on, went ahead and put the part of the air cleaner back on, but I didn't put the filter on just yet because we're going to go ahead and uh, start it up uh, and just make sure everything's kosher. And what we're doing now is uploading the tune to my Power Vision. So I went ahead and just uh, flashed the bike with the remote tune. I'll be taking it to the dyno to get fully dyno tuned here shortly, so stay tuned for that video. But we're getting ready to start this thing up for the first time right now.